but I'm just at this point in my life where I have to let it officially out because it just I I'm tired I'm really fucking tired now I'm here being forced to go with you when you don't even want me here when you never really wanted me here this was my runaway life I said it, I want to shave my head, I really wanted to. Every time I seen Gianna, like, on Christmas, I want to say it was Christmas, I was like, gee, no part in my body does it, like, is any negative emotion towards anybody. This is nothing of me, like, <sighs> just kidding, ew. <laughs> Hi, oh my gosh, what's good, what's poppin'? Welcome back to my channel what's good you guys welcome to a new video today is tuesday february 7th 2023 i am currently at the park right now park lake whatever you want to call it yesterday yesterday i posted the video on youtube where i it, this wasn't intentional it just kind of happened because i record videos and i never get to edit them so i just thought it was a really awesome idea to react to my 2021 video versus my 2022 year which you guys i feel like i have talked about it a lot and this video is going to be about personal growth self-help self-love taking care of myself because i fucking have to <laughs> the elephant in the room <laughs> you can't tell much in the light but everybody you guys all you guys know i have shaved my head <sighs> i don't want to go all over the place in this video i'm gonna try my best to i'm the way that i'm i <sighs> what i'm gonna talk about today right now it has to happen I am tired of carrying this in my body, in my mind, in my soul, year after year, month after month. I'm learning so much about me. I am the kind of person that if I don't get the chance or the opportunity to really talk about it, like literally physically talk about it and kind of vent out about it, I just tend to shove it under the rug. And that's not good. <laughs> At least it's not good. So I, I'm just at this point where i need to let shit out in order for me to move on you know everybody's different oh my god okay i'm just at the point where i am who i am i like to share i need to share i need to vent because if not i just leave it inside i there's you guys i'm gonna be completely honest like completely honest and uh, there's so much there's so much like that i want to you know there uh, it's years years of i don't want to say trauma because that sounds like a strong word but it's just years of putting shit under the rug feeling bad and taught to talk about it because you don't feel like if it's okay to talk about it but i'm just at this point in my life where i have to let it officially out because it just i i'm tired i'm really fucking tired i'm tired of carrying this shit with me and i it for what you know like i'm just so ready <sighs> So I'm just low-key like where the fuck do I start like where do I start and this is the thing if you if you don't understand like the whole if you don't know which is okay because I'm trying to get the words right not everybody is in the same vibrational alignment that you are so for those of you guys listening to this if you don't really know what I'm talking about then it literally might sound off to you but if you do know about like just energy and the whole manifestation putting good things out <sighs> self-help self-help self-awareness literally self-help self-awareness i feel like there's so much points to it i really don't want to make this video super long but i feel like it will be and who cares it's for me i i feel like i am totally aware that i probably do have like i don't want to say like is this sister issues? I don't want this to be like the first thing, but I feel like whatever. Let's just, I'm just gonna talk about it as it comes in my mind. But I wanna say maybe I probably do have like sister issues. I don't wanna say mom issues because my mom is just, I had to learn how to deal with her and she's not the like easiest person, but lady, don't fuck with me. <laughs> like, for real, don't fuck with me. Like, don't. Okay, it's my brother my sister and me me and my sister are six years apart and me and my brother are 11 years apart when we were little i i got along with my brother 
a lot more and just the way he is like everybody everybody got along with my brother everybody's like oh my god mario you're so silly like my brother right my sister would she would try to get us in trouble or my sister was always like we're here having fun and she's the one here with the stanky face right whatever there's shit like that just little fights little things oh you guys whatever she always felt ganged up my brother got married he you know got his baby they we all lived together and eventually they moved out right so i do feel like that little part of my life was probably where i got a little mm, i probably got a little like hurt <laughs> because i then lost my friend i there i my brother leaving i lost my best friend my even with veto like i they would they would want they how can i say this with my brother and veto they would include me they would they i don't want to say they would want me around but i always felt welcome right when they moved out my life just went like and it's like now i'm talking about it i'm i'll probably cry i don't really want to cry because i'm like i felt it and i'm i'm like over it but talking about it of course it just resurfaces and you just feel super sad about life in general so when they moved out and stuff like i'm so grateful and stuff they would you know they would pick me and pick me up and take me to their um to their apartment they would always like i always felt included you know involved included my brother left rick my brother left around when I was 14, I think, 13, 14, something like that. So can you imagine already your teenage years, like, oh, that's heartbreaking. And now I'm stuck with my mom and my sister that, one, my mom was just there, but she had, we, like, my grandpa was sick. She had a lot of stresses in her life. Shit was happening. I was born when my mom was 31. So imagine, like, my mom's in her 40s, everything. It's just, like, life's happening. Here, I'm, I'm now living with my sister that even kind of now, I feel like, doesn't like me. Which is okay. Like, I don't, bitch, bye. I don't know. When I, sometimes when I think back about my sister, it's like, I just see a mug in her face. I see like I like which I get it I get it you guys me and my sister we had we we grew up so differently yeah let's say 15 she was 15 16 right in her high school whatever my mom would allow us to bring boyfriends like we always had boyfriends and stuff and my mom we couldn't always bring them that's the thing here's my middle sister so my mom would send me like upstairs to go watch tv with them or if my sister wanted to go to the mall or something my mom you know but take your sister but take your sister now i'm here being forced to go with you when you don't even want me here when you never really wanted me here so it's just like thing after thing and then i started working right when i was 16 and then she's whatever she was already working at the restaurant downstairs i turned 18 and i started working there like two weeks later or something like that we did have our good times and fun times but i know she didn't want me there <sighs> i don't want to cry you stupid bitch <laughs> no i just it's just sad like that's where like i am so aware that i have like i don't want that's like abandonment issues or like feeling left out or not wanted now okay right that that's my life right with my sister like just feeling like i had like i never felt like open arms you know whatever whatever but that's my thing my sister had six years of her life before me i don't know how their life was before me i don't know which my from what my sister says my mom really i don't want to say really abused her but my 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 sis my my mom uh did some things to my sister that to me not as much like i my mom would yell at me and i'd be like okay and she would just be like i said stop talking i'm like okay it was just like i don't know and the last time my mom tried to hit me was like on my 18th birthday because she found weed in my bag and i stopped her and i was just like you're not gonna fucking hit me like dude you're the one person in my life that has always told me don't let anybody touch you don't let anybody fucking like no te dejes my mom would always be like no te dejes no dejes que nadie te toque like if somebody says something like have a mouth like get like don't no te dejes so now why the fuck am i gonna let you do the shit that you're telling me not to accept i can't i can't i can't don't touch me don't fucking don't fuck with me don't fuck with me don't fuck with me <laughs> okay we're at that like point where it's just like i know we all have our own flaws nobody's fucking perfect everybody has done their shit and it is what it is 
so I want to say my sister moved out in March of last year March April what are those between March April or May she moved out right it is what it is <laughs> it's just so much you like you have to experience a, a conversation a situation like something you have to see and hear and experience something for you to sit back and be like did i appreciate what just happened or am i gonna be more at peace if i'm not around this or do i like cheese pizza or does pepperoni pizza make me happier uh you know like <laughs> Going through life is literally about experience and asking yourself if that is what you will want to allow in your life. I love my siblings. I love my family. I love I love people. I love you guys. Like I love people. But certain shit hurt my feelings. Certain shit trigger me and I can't I I I can't. I don't want it to affect me anymore and it's just like as much like oh my god, you guys and is hot well that's the thing it's not really with my sister well i don't want to go all over the place but i have to say this this is the only part i want to like about my hair last year we all know my niece got literally my baby niece got diagnosed with leukemia <sighs> that like the first time i seen my nieces and stuff right when all that stuff happened like we were talking i was like you guys what do you guys think what do you guys feel about this how are you guys thinking like you know just trying to see where their minds were at and then I was just like, yeah, like, I, which you see people every time, you know, your family member, somebody gets cancer, like, you just shave your head. Like, it's not the thing to do, but it's the thing to do. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I want to shave my head. Like, I, I, I want to, if, I was like, if she's really sick, I want to shave my head. What, I don't know, like, my sister's wedding happened, then Halloween, I don't know, Christmas, just stuff started moving that I kind of just, I didn't forget, but I kind of just, like, I let it go. Then this guy's peeing on the tree. <laughs> and right i just let it go yeah everything i have been work all year i have like all year i've been working on myself learning and figuring out situations do i need to be here i don't need to be here is my time valuable here or am i just do like i have to that's how i literally have to like do shit i just caught myself realizing that i don't need to be in situations or places where i don't I don't belong it's not it's not that it's not my place but it's just like I have nothing to do here my energy is not my energy is not connecting with this uh, environment <laughs> and that's fucking okay that's okay I don't like it is what it is so right Gianna happened I said I wanted to shave my head I wanted to shave my head I wanted to shave my head the main thing too you guys I shaved my head I have hair. Gianna literally lost everything. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, girl, it just felt wrong. I'm not gonna shave my head and be like, I still have hair when you literally have none. This is like the huge thing for me where I feel like me shaving my head was a manifestation on itself. I said it, I wanna shave my head. I really wanted to every time I seen Gianna like, on Christmas, I want to say it was Christmas, I was like, gee, I really wanted to do it when she was like really bald, right? Because she's like, my baby, your little head. So I was like, gee, can, I was like, I've been wanting to kiss your head for so long. I was like, can I kiss your head, please? Yeah. So now, every time I see her, I'm like, she lets me kiss her head, and I'm just like, I love you, like, oh, my little baby. I would be completely honest. My hair is coming from her, but it's also coming from a personal growth aspect of it because i feel like me taking off which you guys know if you people shave their heads that's like a like a a way of personal growth strength to leave the past behind stuff like that and i just feel like they both met at a perfect perfect time i got to shave my head and y'all her smile made me so fucking happy her smile like oh her smile was literally I thought oh my god I, don't, I think on the picture I posted I was like that's the reason right there that smile right there is my reason that's it <laughs> that's fucking it that smile right there was my fucking reason I just it feels so good it feels so good I feel like like and I know a lot of people are like oh my god you did such a good thing you did such a good thing it's like you know and it's like I everything just feels so good and like it came together so perfect it's so weird like shaving my head really feels like I just let go of everything I feel like I just let go of so much 
when I look in the mirror, I'm like, whoa, who the fuck is that? Literally, I'm like, who the fuck is that? Like, I, I feel like I just stripped myself from everything, you know? And it feels so fucking good. But let's get back to the story. <laughs> what I was talking about, okay, bringing back to like, I want to say like my little sister issues or abandonment. I know I have like a certain kind of trauma, right? Or not feeling wanted, picked, liked. I don't know, right? I don't know. <laughs> Bitch, boo, I ain't leaving. Don't be over here just trying to take my parking spot. Bye. <laughs> Back to my traumas. <sighs> My sister moved out almost a year ago now, right? Even us living together, which you guys, I get it. She had a baby. She went through some shit. Uh, she was doing school, which now she's a fucking nurse, which is good for you. And imagine living with your sister, with your only sister in this lifetime, in this world. The only sister I will ever say and get to experience. I don't know it's just like a not a good feeling like I just I I always like the last right like the past little years, time and stuff like that like I get it like I have the dogs and shit like that like I just always felt like a bother to her and it's like now oh you guys want to see this <sighs> yeah that's my thing I just from I love my sister and it's just little shit where I just never felt welcomed or wanted i think that gravitates to like my friendships y'all i'll be completely honest i don't know i just i love you guys you guys always, i always had fun with you guys i really i love you guys i appreciated you guys so much has happened to me and i'm probably like it's just i i can't anymore i really can't i don't have it the time i don't have the energy i don't have it in me to carry this shit with me anymore which is why i'm fucking doing this video hey that was the bird not that bird but that was the kind of bird i found dead at the school <laughs> i was walking the dogs and there was a dead ass bird like in the front but you guys i feel like me having like maybe like sister issues definitely affects my friendship life i'm gonna say it because i it i just did it and i had to oh my god it feels so good and i said it in the previous video but like last year 2022 i let go of a lot of stuff i observed i processed and i said wow okay cool it is what it is Re okay realizing that right my brother moved out my brother's been moved out now my sister officially moved out so i started kind of observing and that's a, i'm y'all i'm very observant i'm very like i am i i notice your facial expressions i see how you talk to me i see your i see it like i can feel it so it's just like last year i was definitely like just very observant and processing like how what my life is like here's both of my siblings officially moved out i started noticing which it's okay it, it hurt it hurt for a second you literally just proved the point that i was trying to show myself you know i'm gonna just say it you get to a point where you realize that your siblings come over to your parents house for your parents i i don't want to say i live upstairs but right we have a duplex and i we sleep upstairs i live upstairs and my parents sleep downstairs it's just like uh you just notice it and it's just like are you gonna let this affect you or how are you gonna move on from this you know and it's just like i don't know i i want to say i heard i heard the, i heard it but i'm trying to tell my brain maybe she said pickles you know <laughs> it kind of i kind of hurt my feelings and, and when i heard that i was like oh you just literally checked off what i was trying to prove last year that my siblings only come to the house for my parents and that's okay but it's it's a hard pill to swallow you know just being the youngest and seeing it i heard my sister say to like my niece she was like we came to see mine ba and i was just like did i just hear did i just hear you tell my niece like did you just really tell her we came to see my parents so now here my traumas my oh 
it's just it is i i it hurts me like and it's like it's not it doesn't come from a like boo me boo hoo nobody likes me nadie me quiere todo me odia mejor me como gusan like it's really not like it's not about which is something that really it's annoying and it's triggering and i know you guys think that you're doing something good from that if i'm making these videos saying like i'm moving on it's really a trigger when people come up and say trying to call you trying to message you trying to be like how are you i'm trying to connect how's like bitch this is what i'm moving on from this bullshit and then i'm tired of like y'all you really you reply to people because you want to give like the benefit of the doubt of just a, a decent human conversation like oh like hey yeah i'm good like how are you and then nobody like they don't respond that shit happens way too many times to me with me and i'm just done y'all i can't like phone calls where it's like i'll call back and they're like oh i didn't mean to call you so it's just like oh okay fuck you then i i can't ugh, i can't so it's just like yesterday i unfollowed my three amigas that i had in my heart and in my soul that i wished would be more again is my fault my traumas my life how i just always wanted that friend i always seen y'all when you grow up watching movies tvs i grew up watching you know tv i grew up watching like movies and shit like when you see sisters being like this and sisters like this and keep sisters keep their secrets and sisters do this and you want to be around and it's really hurtful when your sister experience isn't that way so it just it's little shit that i'm just like okay and i tried to find it in other people and it's just it's not meant to happen now it's not which is okay which i'm grateful because y'all i'm i I try to open up, I try to be open and let people in and when I do that shit, I just end up fucking hurt again and it just comes to like from a lot of shit that I told Diego like my, my mom was always trying to be very inclusive with people and family and old friends. I grew up having like around barbecues and you know f we had parties and shit all the time we had we were going to like i don't know it was just like people back-to-back -back parties little things like that que invita la no sé quien, que invita la esta, que invita la party after party quince parties wedding shit like that it's like invite this person invite this person ask this or invite this person in my like in my perspective now it's like yo all these people dropped us not one of these people ever invited us to their house to their parties to their barbecues so why the fuck am i here feeling guilty for not for for dropping you out of my life or not including you when you it's been years that you never and that's it's just it's uh, it's so much and that's why i needed to make this video y'all because i just carry so much shit and i just i don't talk to anybody i really fucking don't and this is it's not even a boohoo like i i don't want to if i talk to somebody i just feel like it gets nowhere and it's like i of course i talked to diego and he's just very diego's just very chill but diego doesn't nothing bothers him he's just like like i told him i was like i unfollowed <laughs> i was like i unfollowed my friend and i told him why like i was like it just it hurts it hurts my feelings it's like it it's almost with exactly with my sister when my sister was around the house and stuff like that imagine uh, it's just like a it was awkward feeling y'all like it was really weird like feeling like you have your life your sister here your friend and feeling like you get the shoulder or you like she would just like like walk straight and uh, i just felt like just you just feel you just don't feel acknowledged i guess so it's like my sister moving out was honestly one of the best fucking shit that has happened to me mentally like emotionally because it's just like dude now you know she'll come on the weekends lately she's been coming like on a weekend or whatever now you just made it clear you come to see my mom and my dad which is perfectly fine out of sight out of mind it it hurts me more seeing your face that reminds me of something that i won't have and it comes to a point that of course you guys i'm this is me moving on from it this is me moving on from it like ugh, i just i can't i don't feel i this is just me moving on and i i don't want the boohoo are you okay like are you fine like bitch i'm good i'm really fucking good i'm the kind of person that i 
si no lo hablo, si no lo saco, si no lo, like, se me queda. And I just keep thinking about it. And, yeah, that's what, that's why I'm, like, I know I've been posting, like, a lot of, like, stuff. And it's just, like, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be posting shit talking about, I don't know, just feeling sad or this, this, and that. Like, I, I'm... I'm I'm just ready. I I have a voice and I have feelings and I have emotions too that I need to fucking let out and I'm not I'm just like I just feel like everybody around me is is I just feel like you know everybody's moving doing and I'm just like I am too but I get a little stuck when something you know happens and I'm just like I need to speak it out to process it to feel it to be like oh, okay this and that because if i just think about it i'm just going thought after thought and just like it replays like i need to physically fucking talk about it i'm gonna talk about it and that's why they go sometimes be like i'm like i don't give a fuck i need to say i don't give a fuck in order for me to fucking feel happy and feel better oh it feels so good oh my god no, that's me, y'all. Like, because when I was little, I wasn't really, we weren't, get the guy, <laughs> but get the guy. So it's just like, bro, like, you, I never got the chance to be like, but like, I'm mad and you guys, like, I, like, you couldn't, you couldn't even say anything. You couldn't even fucking express yourself. So now, in order for me to feel better, I have to say, fuck you, because you didn't give me the chance to do it. So I hold anger in for a second, and it's just like, I don't give a fuck. Leave me, like, bye. And then it's like, you're doing your thing, I'm doing my thing. Peace and love. Peace and love. <laughs> It's just like everybody functions differently. Everybody needs to do their own thing. People go to therapy. Some people go on a 10, 10 mile run. I need to talk. I need to talk to a camera to feel better. I'm done feel. I'm I'm done carrying shit for time and time. I don't want it. I'm more happy like doing this video because I already feel it. I can feel like the relief. I can feel the relief. Like I just I I'm done trying to feel bad. Oh my god, am I not talking to you enough? <laughs> Oh my god, do you like me? Oh my god, do, did I do something that you don't talk to me? Oh my god, am I like a loser? Bitch, I don't fucking give a shit. I don't fucking care. I don't fucking care. Like, I'm... I'm uh, mm -mm. And that, I'm just like so happy and I'm like... <clears throat> it's just, that's me, y'all. Like, I need to express myself. I need to let shit out. And this is the thing. I'm like, I keep thinking that i'm just like yo i didn't i had okay i'm gonna say i had boyfriends but i had a long-term right i had a long-term boyfriend of four years with my height like in high school and stuff like that like he was my friend he was my fucking friend <laughs> and it's just like i don't know if people like you know everybody had a boyfriend oh my god all, the, all my friends had a boyfriend so it was just like you never i never just really got to experience that like a bond with a friend like and it's okay it just makes me sad because it's like you just have to like feel it and move on and be like is this gonna keep affecting me or am i gonna like just accept it and you know find positive like positive thoughts and find positive things and interactions you know it just makes me sad and just it it just makes me a little sad yeah i remember oh my god like okay i got transferred my freshman year to a new school from san francisco to oakland i remember messaging like hey like how are you doing to a friend a friend hey like what's up how are you doing on lunch or whatever or any time <clears throat> oh nothing i'm like oh you know and they would never reply so it's literally years and years of this shit where i'm just like i i don't i don't i don't get it and it's not it's it's not my place to even change or expect things but it just hurts it hurts that it's years of this shit of like just reaching 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 for some like reaching for connection and it's just like and i got married i got married at 19 and with diego like diego's diego became my friend y'all like i never had a fucking bond my sister got with her boyfriend in november i met diego in december for maybe six months but right before she got pregnant we were happy we were like we were happy <laughs> we were having we were having fun we were i i finally felt like we were connecting i finally felt like i was old enough i finally felt like i was connecting in some way with my sister bonding and then she got pregnant and then it's like which i get it when you it being a, i'm 
I'm not a mom, but being a mom, I'm sure you go through so much. And I know she did with her boo thing. And life is just happening and life is moving. And I am done staying and sticking my head in the past where it doesn't fucking belong. Because I just still have this shit inside of me that I need to let go. So... It, it this feels really fucking good <laughs> I'm like crying but it feels so good and I don't this I'm saying I don't know my sister's perspective I don't know what or like anything is but I know mine and I know how I feel and I know how I seen shit so I'm just like oh I wanted to talk about this too because she's like yeah there's so much shit I uh, trauma just kidding which is funny because I was technically an adult already but when I when I was gonna turn 19 when i was hold on i think i had just turned 18 or something like that but i ran away from my house and i honestly don't know how many people know about this other than my grandma and i'm i'm sure my uncle next door probably my cousins do i don't know nobody ever bothered to ask nobody ever bothered to check in nobody ever cared i moved out and i have the letter and I'll post it right here so you guys can read it for yourself. But I kind of want to read it because it's sad. <laughs> no, let me read it. Let me look for it real quick. So, you guys. Okay, imagine your little sister, your baby sister, writing this. And you waking up to finding this in the kitchen. And her luggage is gone. Her clothes is gone. This was my runaway letter. But I... But... Hold on. Ugh. My lips are so dry. Oh my god. I'm gonna start over. And growing up, I can't be myself here. <laughs> Do I have to start again? Three, two, one. But you haven't. It's all wrong. But you guys haven't. Oh my god. I'm gonna read the actual letter. This is all fucked up. Take four. I'm sorry for being a disappointment. Ever since I was little, I was different and growing up, I can't be myself here. I'm judged all the time with everything I do and no one seems happy with my actions, any of them. I can't admit I'm not the best daughter. I'm sorry I'm not like Reyna. I know you think you raised me wrong, but you haven't. You guys have given me everything I ever needed, but I'm growing up and you cannot change my way of thinking. And like you guys say, if I'm not happy with the rules here, there's the door. Well, maybe it's time I learn and figure out stuff on my own. I swear and promise I'll be safe. I know you're going to worry, but please, please don't. I'm sure it's best for all of us. I know I'm being... I know it's best for all of us. I know I'm being even more of a disappointment for this, but it is my life and my decision. I know the things I do. I'm not stupid. I just don't care of others' opinions because it's my life. Smoking never changed me. It doesn't make me a bad person. But to you guys, it's different. The pills, I know what I was doing and it was protecting myself from creating the biggest mistake and disappointment of bringing a baby to this world yeah i'm looked at wrong i'm not the best i'm not the best at communicating but it's because i'm not the best at communicating but it's because i'm okay and i know what i'm doing i love you guys sorry for not being the reason you want me to be oh my god so it says i love you guys sorry for not being the person you want me to be I got really emotional right now with that baby part because it's like the whole baby thing like I always just felt like having a baby was like oh the worst thing you could ever fucking do now sometimes I think like am I ever gonna have one will it ever happen is it going to happen oh my god am I like it's just a lot but that is my runaway letter <laughs> yeah just from that can you guys see where I'm coming from I, I just that was when I was like 18 yet that shit was carried on from 14 15 16 you know what I'm saying so till officially now that I am talking about it and releasing an opening which honestly it feels so good oh my god I feel so good right now like literally when I told Diego this morning I was like I don't even fuck with my siblings like that and I know you guys are probably watching this, mostly my brother, but like, I'm sure you realize it too that, like, <laughs> I don't fuck with my sister. Like, it's not like I don't fuck with you, but it's like, there, to me, it's like you're just my sister, you're just my brother. I don't see anything more 
right now. And that's fucking okay. So I told Diego, I was like, I, I don't even fuck with or deal with my own family like that. Yet, why the hell am I over here feeling bad? Or, oh my god, like, is it, is, oh my god, should I, should I, can I? To people that I went to school with for one to maybe three years. Literally. Feeling bad for what? I don't know, y'all. I'm just, I, this feels so good. And I'm just the type of person that, like, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't. I don't want to. Because you feel bad. Bitch, I don't give a fuck if you feel bad. You're not gonna fucking make me feel bad because you feel bad or you feel some type of way, bitch. I don't give a fuck. Bye. Me literally yelling at a bush. <laughs> I'm literally yelling at a bush that's like, hella far. I just, I, I don't get it. I can't, like, ugh. And even, yeah, with my cousin that I talked about in the video that I was like, he helped me with Abraham and all that stuff. <laughs> I just can't. It's, bit, well, it's too much of, he said, okay, Let's hang out something, right? And I was like, are you sure? Yeah, I just don't got time. I don't have the energy for bullshit. Like, I really don't. He was like, sure, let's go on Thursday. Let's go, let's do it Thursday, whatever. I was like, are you sure? We're doing this because you're saying yes to this. Are you sure? Yes, yes, because of the, oh, okay then, Thursday. Here comes Wednesday night, talking about, can we do it the next week or whatever? And I was just like, dude, no. This is why I asked you if you were sure about that day, because now it's, it's just like, I can't, y'all. I just feel like, <laughs> it's people, it's just too much. I just can't. It's just, it's so much energy for me. Can you, can you hang out on Tuesday? No, how about Saturday? No, I can't then I'll just see you when the fuck life wants me to see you because at this point, I'm not gonna be asking if you're good Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. <laughs> Girl, bye. You guys know where to find me. You have my number and point blank period it, no it's just that y'all like i told Diego, i was like yo somebody called me through instagram bro like literally the main thing that i was like wait don't you got my number when i told Diego, i was like yo they called me through instagram don't they got your number bitch you should you really fucking should have and i just can't it's i can't i can't i can't i can't i can't i don't want to i can't i can't i can't i don't want to deal with you i can't i don't want to it's so much back and forth oh my god pobrecito. but because you were my friend then i have to carry you in my lifetime and no look at how many fucking people my mom carried in her lifetime that literally where are they it's just that y'all hella little shit tr little things in the past that's like que la fiesta que invita esta que la otra que mira que la otra yeah it was that's how close we all were people family friends cousins family like it was so many like people that when parties started party like right next party next party they stopped showing up or nobody's talking and this and that and i was just like i don't know what last party that i was just like these people haven't even bothered to include you mom so why the hell or that i'm like if social media did not exist and my thing is like yes i'm on instagram i'm i'm trying to make this shit happen but it's just like in my reality my present time present moment i am here in my car chilling by myself I deleted everybody's phone number if you called me or did something in the past year which is my mom my parents my sibling and one or two cousins you get what I'm saying you get what I'm saying it's that I, I don't everything like that like I love my sister but it's like little shit with that people like feeling like I have to keep people to be a good person when it's just like yeah it's okay for others to do it because we wouldn't do it to them but it's just like I'm done being a good person <sighs> just kidding honestly i feel like a lot of it comes from that whole like like spirituality thing the self-help the personal growth aspect of life when you read stuff y'all when i'm right the whole abraham I mean, it's, it just depends who you listen to because abraham's pretty funny because she'll be like if this person has this thought and they feel bad about it do you feel bad about it no okay then <laughs> right so she's like okay then so let them feel bad they have to figure out and get it out of them on why they feel bad and if they want to move forward from that feeling it just depends again who you follow who you listen to what you feel i'm not gonna hurt these ducks but how people are like oh my god peace love light it's like you have to see that you have to do that me being a good person doesn't mean i'm gonna being a good person doesn't mean you have to be good to everybody which i get it you guys i get it and that's my thing it's like everybody is doing their thing oh you know and and it's okay totally totally 
but I'm also allowed to vent and I'm also allowed to express and to say what I want to say and feel how I want to feel that does not make me a bad person and sometimes like that right like sometimes I'm like Diego doesn't complain this that but I feel like I have to because I just didn't get to when I was younger I y'all yeah, when my mom would yell at us I would leave the stairs and be like fuck you you fucking bitch totally totally I'll tell her right now I'll flip her off right now <laughs> but because that's we it's a relationship that it's peace and mutual and don't fuck with me <laughs> it's just funny I don't know like uh, I'm like I feel so good I feel really good right now I'm like laughing and stuff because it's like I feel like I just like with a tissue box I feel like I just was emptying out my traumas my feelings oh this may feel oh, this my sister my this my that I feel like I I feel like I have a empty fresh box taking care of yourself taking care of putting yourself first doing something that's gonna make you a better and happier joyful person does not make you a bad person to others that's my thing y'all i when i was deleting i was like yo i but i was like at their profiles so i was like should i follow i was like i think this is the day i'm gonna unfollow you i was like i think it really might and i was just like if i don't unfollow you i felt like i was going against my feeling oh but i feel bad y'all this person did not feel bad deleting everybody deleting their life deleting their profile to better themselves so why the fuck am i gonna feel bad about doing the same and oh I have to say this because I have told them myself. I have looked up to my friends. I have looked up to you guys. I look up because I just, to me, I feel like you guys are doing such a good, you guys are in a good place in your life. You guys are like in a good position. And I just, I, you guys have motivated me to do the same. For, in order for me to do that, I need to let you go. If you have my number, call me. If you want to hang out, call me. But call me for my phone. I don't really don't fuck with that whole Instagram relationship, friendship thing. That's what bugs me. To me, Instagram is not a real relationship, bro. Like, don't check up on me on through Instagram. That's just, it, it doesn't feel genuine. It doesn't feel real. It's like, oh, I just seen your picture. Hey, how are you? I have tried my best to text through the phones and I get a DM. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, but this is not me. If I'm talking shit, maybe. No part in my body does it like is any negative emotion towards anybody. This is nothing of me like you, fuck y'all, like screw y'all, y'all have in my life. This literally feels so good in a point of like me letting go, me letting go of things that aren't there. It's just it's it's like the same like with my sister, it just feels like I don't see her anymore. I don't talk to her. I don't I we it's just she's just there out of sight out of mind <laughs> if you want to talk to me if you want to hear my voice if you want to do anything to do with me in my life you should have my number i might not because i literally deleted everybody so if i don't have your number that just proves that you guys haven't literally texted me in like over a year at least maybe a little less because i don't know when i deleted everybody but like you get the point this feels so fucking good yeah it's like three okay it's 2 38 i'm still at the park i wanted to read i wanted to journal and stuff like that but i kind of want to go home and work on this video because my camera's about to die now and i feel like the quicker i release this video the quicker i get to move on and the quicker we get to do makeup and this and that and i'm waiting excuse me i'm waiting on the jeffree star mystery box oh my god yeah so shit is moving shit is going shit is thriving shit is she is living. Eh, eh. Okay, that's awesome. I'm gonna go home and I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. And I really hope that what you guys just got from this is just love and light and just me like just venting opening up literally releasing shit from years y'all years i'm 26 i turned 27 in june almost 10 years of me holding all this stuff in of pain and hurt and trauma <laughs> just kidding i'm like i love you guys so much and that's 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 what hurts the more that I drop like I don't say I drop but I let people go because I love you guys so much that it fucking hurts that there is no you know what I'm saying but it's okay I love you guys I will always be here and 
have a good day bye <laughs>